As hospitals and medical centers expand, adding buildings and technology that require more power, many facilities managers find their diesel backup generator is no longer able to provide sufficient backup power in the event of an outage. A Bel Air, Maryland medical center found a way around that problem by adding a gas fuel generator as its prime source of power. A Caterpillar G3516H generator drives a combined heat and power system that not only saves the medical center money, but also doubles as a backup system in tandem with a diesel standby generator set when power from the main utility is lost. Well, because I've worked in other hospitals before, I, I know the situation that facilities can get in with emergency power. It may be that you start off with reasonably sized engines for the load that you have, but over time with campus additions, it is very typical that the, the capacity of the emergency diesel becomes stretched. Even those institutions that have more than one diesel can often outgrow the ability of the diesel to handle all the loads that they need. Alec liked the idea of utilizing a gas engine for a cogeneration plant that runs continuously, providing prime power to the campus. One of the things that struck us, rather than another emergency diesel that would sit there collecting dust, was the employment of a cogeneration engine that we could run all the time, save money on our utility bills, and also use that engine to combine with our emergency diesel to provide power to the campus. So we have the ability to use all the waste heat from the engine both in summer and winter. And it really is that ability to use the waste heat from the engine that drives the overall efficiency of the venture. In a unique arrangement, the medical center turned to a third party to provide a full turnkey solution that included designing, financing, and building the new CHP system. A division of the Clark Construction Group in Bethesda, Maryland, also owns and operates the system. Doing this type of transaction in a public-private partnership or public uh, power purchase agreement approach like we did with Upper Chesapeake is very advantageous for the client because as a for-profit entity that is privately held, we're able to access financial uh, tax credits and other types of incentives depreciation that a nonprofit institution like Upper Chesapeake can't access on their own. So we're able to bring funding to the project that they can't access. We're able to develop the project without impacting their credit or using their really essential capital budget for, that can be used for other important uh, projects. The things we recognize in this environment, such as a healthcare environment, is that the existing staff has their day jobs and they want to ensure, we want to ensure that we don't have to complicate matters for them, but we actually bring a product that they can take and use at the, on, at the, at the end result of our, um, our initiatives without them having to spend a lot of time on their side managing the process. When it came time to select a generator set, project engineers first considered utilizing two smaller engines to run in parallel with the utility. But ultimately, with help from local CAT dealer Albin Power Systems, they selected the 60 Hertz CAT 3516H generator set. At the beginning of the design process, we looked at various engine manufacturers, and uh, what we found is that there are certain sweet spots with various manufacturers that, that don't all fit in the same playing field. Um, some manufacturers focus on higher uh, output generators, some focus in the smaller range, and what we observed with Caterpillar, they had a solution that fit the specific need that we had at this particular hospital in terms of their size ranges. We want to ensure that we had an engine here that was able to meet the, M the MDE thresholds with minimal treatment required and this particular model with the treatment addition um, actually did that for us. It was the right fit at the right price at, as well. 